Welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. I'm your host, Steph, also known as Knitting Samurai. Uh, this is episode 46. Where's the love? <laughs> Have you noticed a trend in your podcast? Because I'm certainly seeing it in what I watch on podcasts with my iPad and in my own knitting life right now. I don't know. Is it February blues? Is it like winter doldrums? I don't know. Nobody seems to be very motivated, including myself, for their knitting right now. It's just sort of like, yeah, I'm knitting. I'm knitting along. That's fine. But I'm not like, oh my god, I gotta knit, which is how I typically feel. So I'm hoping that it's just February. February is over and this will be left behind me and I will become super motivated to knit all the things again because right now I have been bribing myself to knit. <laughs> it's like if you do half an hour of I cord on this one project then you can go do some fun toy knitting. You know just like a little trade-off and Maybe it's all the big projects. Maybe it's all the sweater knitting. Because those are a slog. And you get to a point where you're just like, I just want to finish something and be excited. And it doesn't happen, and it doesn't happen, and it doesn't happen. And it takes four nights to finish an eye cord edging on a baby blanket when you would like it to take an hour. <laughs> you know? So, um, send me some positive thoughts. Hopefully, you're not feeling it. Maybe I can steal some of your mojo to get me motivated, send it out there to all of us that we are just gonna, you know, feel invigorated. It's a new month, it's March. There are some great knit alongs starting up today, March 1st, Friday, March 1st. Um, the STR Socks That Rock with Diane, the Knitting Color with Two Tangled Skeins, like, those are two yarn companies that make yarn that is very vibrant and exciting and that's what I need to be knitting with. Something that's going to make me happy and me instead of thinking about knitting with yarns that I'm actually going to want to put on my person and wear in public which tend to be more of the muted colors. See my dark navy, dark and stormy, and my dusty rose uh, peasy. Those are just like they don't invigorate my, I don't feel the energy as I'm knitting them. Does that make sense? Anyways, so here's hoping that whew, turning the page is a new chapter and we're going to be excited about our knitting. At least not it. So, <laughs> first off my needles this week. Like I have many finished things. No, I only have this one. This is my Elizabeth Zimmerman. It is a pie shawl. It's a, it's a smaller version. Um, because I'm going to give it as a baby blanket. So more of like a car seat cover or the stroller blanket, I believe. Ooh, do I have a measuring tape? Um, I was shooting for a 28 stitch diameter. Oh, I wanna show you this. When I placed my order at Webbs for my PZ yarn, I also got, I think six, I got a ton of these, Spudding Chloe measuring tapes because Little Fingers likes to steal my measuring tapes and run around with them. I have a bumblebee, a sheep, and probably sheep. Who am I forgetting? Cow. And so he walks over and touches my measuring tape and we go through the barnyard animals. So I think it's a good learning thing and I definitely need to have more animal measuring tapes. But for actual working and measuring and being able to locate my measuring tape, I have a few of these now. So. I was shooting for a at least 28 inches in diameter because I think that was the smallest size that I found useful for Roland. And let's be honest, I mean, I'm knitting this for a coworker. I like my coworkers, but I don't love them enough to knit massive blankets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, and this has a 29 inch diameter. <laughs> So I knit the green until I ran out of yarn. That's what I was going for. This is some of the, so see, this isn't closing very well. Um, this Bernat Cotton Soft is some of the oldest yarn in my stash. So I was glad to use it up. But it also, um, yeah, so I was going until I ran out. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Model. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you can see here on the, border I on the edge I did have to flub the pattern a little bit and I ended up putting in diamonds right here where there weren't supposed to be any just to give it a little more detail so 
Um, when I ran out of the green, I switched over to Knit One Crochet Two Cottonade in her color 631, which is basically a, a beautiful periwinkle color, just to edge it. So that is off my needles. I would like to knit this pattern again because um, she makes a point of saying that this is an heirloom piece, and it very well could be knit in the right wool and you know on a fine gauge. It would be a beautiful piece. Knit on cotton that is not going to block. <laughs> it's not the finest piece of uh, craftsmanship I've ever done, but it's good enough. It's good enough. And it's done, and it's off my needles, so yay! Yay! I don't know if you could see him, but Linus has joined us. Yes, he's sitting right on my notebook, so of course that's the perfect place to sit. Um, let's see, what else is on the needles? My color affection, I'm not even going to show you. It didn't get any love this week. No love. And that, I cast on thinking the bright purple would be enough to, yeah, no. But thank you for all of your advice about how to make it shallow, more shallow than the pattern calls for. Yeah. The extreme close-up. I mean, it's the way to go, right? <laughs> I think you can still see me even though he's sitting there. So I'm just going to keep talking. Um, so yeah, I didn't really work on that. The pebbled beanie is the other one. Carolyn and I talked about it over on the boards, and I was glad to see her over there. But that wasn't enough to motivate me to knit this either. Um, but I will knit this because the yarn is beautiful. This is Schaefer Nicole in the colorway Empress Zhu Zhao, which um, is gorgeous. It's teal, gray, yellow color. It's really, really, really pretty. It kind of reminds me of like country kitchen colors. So uh, I probably did five rows on that, like very, very little. But right now this is at a one by one rib stage. And to me, one by one rib is person knitting, is waiting in line, is going out at lunch and knitting, whatever. It's not in the evening knitting. That's when I try to focus on my bigger projects so I can, you know, put in a chunk of time and then move forward and see the results. But I feel like right lately, like all of my, well not lately, because I did finish the baby blanket, but I was trying to alternate between the peasy sweater and the baby blanket and it seemed like the more time I put into one, it got nowhere. Like it was, they're not growing and they should be growing. What's up with these big projects? So, <laughs> um, so I have this over here, so I guess I'll show you this next. The actual current purse knitting are these two socks. So I'm knitting them at the same time, two separate circulars. <laughs> uh, just a two by toe up, two by two rib. My basic sock pattern that I love, it's based on um, a Wendy Johnson pattern. And I know I've said this before, but maybe you're new and you've never seen it. I took her, uh, so I don't need instructions for the toe, right? Everybody, every toe is about the same and you work your pattern, whatever you're doing on the top of the foot. So really all I need for instructions when I knit a sock are the counts for doing gusset increases and then the short rowing back and forth to get the heel cup and then what to do for the counts for the heel flap. So I just type those up out of the book into a little, you know, little paragraph here and then printed it out, cut it out, wrapped it in tape, and then I keep one of these in all of my sock project bags. And you could probably find one of these in every one of my project bags, but it's great. So I always have the instructions um, whenever I, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. If I'm working on socks and I get to a gusset or get to a point where I need to start a gusset, I've got instructions. So, yeah. If I had a notions pouch, well I do have notions pouches, but my sock bags don't need notion pouches. Look, he moved on his own! Um, that would be my, one of my must-haves in my notion pouch. So these socks are going along great. I would say I have another two inches on each to go and then I will be moving on to actually knitting the socks for my grandmother that I started out uh, working on. I went to Michael's this week and got a scan of yarn. Yes, yes. That's not the, the one. <laughs> Um, got a couple skeins of their Patton's Croy, well it's not theirs, but the Patton's Croy sock in this beautiful pink beige color. Uh, I'm not using a high-end, nice 
nice yarn for my grandmother just because I don't think she's going to hand wash them. I want it to be a workhorse yarn. I like that these are knit on US 1.5s because this yarn is more of a um, sport weight to me. It's definitely a heavy, heavy fingering weight. Yeah, they recommend using size 3s. Um, where's the gauge? 36. I have four is nine, so they're saying nine stitches to the inch. Is my math off? No. Oh gosh, the boys are home. Okay, quick. <laughs> this is, um, what is this? This is my Peasy by Heidi Caramere. And I'm knitting it on US size six with Valley Superwash DK yarn. You can see there's the, the lace edging on the front, or, right? So in the front, it's, I'm going to do the Henley. Well, I started this thing. I was going to do the Henley long sleeve. Now I'm not so sure <laughs> because I would like this to be more of a wear now type of sweater. And in March, I'm thinking I would probably prefer short to three quarter length sleeves and Henley maybe. So we'll see. I'm uh, disappointed. <laughs> to say that I did all the math thinking that I would be knitting the size because there's four inches difference between her sizes so I was thinking I would want to knit um, a size in between extra large and large and I did all the math and I was ready to go and then I started knitting I don't gauge squatch I measured my gauge as I was going and realized that oh with DK instead of worsted as the pattern calls for my gauge is much finer which means it'll be a lighter weight sweater nice but um, I'm not knitting between sizes I need to go beyond which is no big thing I can figure that out that it's simple math but at the same time it's like oh it's even more knitting than I was planning on so um, it is what it is I'm chugging away at it <laughs> I'm looking forward the pro black rows are getting long so I'm looking forward to joining it in the round and having that, like, go, 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 go. Then I think it will really fly. So I did finish my first game. So that's where that's at. So it's March 1st. The Dark and Stormy Cal is over. Um, there have, were 26 of us that worked on the pattern together. And 12 people finished. Wow, that's amazing. I really enjoyed the chatter over on the thread. I hope you did as well. And I look forward to doing another knit along in the future. Uh, we do have some prizes that I went ahead and drew numbers for. Just because I didn't want to be dealing with technology and all that. And it can be slow. So let's just breeze through these. Uh, the first prize that I have to give away is from Nancy, who is Knit Knack. In VA, I believe, is her rad name. She sent us two skeins of Malabrigo Twist in the Liquid Amber colorway. It is a gorgeous yarn. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that's 300 yards. And I random number generated. The first number that came up was number five, who is Loan. Loan. So, Luann sent me a PM, and I will get these in the mail to you. And thank you, Nancy, so much for sending in a prize pattern. Nancy was our first finisher <laughs> in, like, a week. So, uh, that's okay. She and I both have finished our story. <laughs> right? It's okay to be the turtle. Turtle? Yeah, turtle in the hair. She was the hair. I was the turtle. Um, and then I was looking through one of my yarn bins, older yarn bin, and I found this box. I'm still in a cellophane. I got it for Christmas one year. Haven't opened it. It's called Knit Knack Kit, Simple Instructions and Tools for 25 Terrific Knitting Projects by Chris Percival. Ah. So, um, oh wow. Projects included in this kit. Oh, those are the projects. I'm not sure. It shows a picture of it on the back of the book with the instructions like each one is an individual pamphlet with needles, a tapestry needle, and stitch markers. So this uh, lovely kit is going to copyright 2003. So I got this very early on in my knitting career. 
Um, I ran a number generated and it's going to go to number 11, Calico Kitty 6. So send me a PM and I'll drop you, I'll drop this into the mail for you. And then the last prize that we're going to do is um, a skein of Into the World that is one of the club colors that I received a while ago that I'm not really wild about that I think would be better off in someone else's hands. So if I could see, um, I think it's safe to have these things out in my house because it's in a bag. And what, he can't hurt, Roland can't hurt the yarn if it's in a bag. But then a bag with strings and he pulls on the strings and it makes a lot <laughs> summers ago. I enjoyed it. It was a good night. Anyways, uh, not the greatest use of self-striking yarn, but I like the end result and it's very pretty. I can't get the knot out, so I'm just going to fight. Okay, I got the yarn. <laughs> Alright, so here it is, Into the World. I think it's called The Wood. Yep. And this is a fingering... 3 ply superwash merino, one ply regular wool yarn, and it has bar barber pole effect going on there, so you can see the see it in the contrast right there. I think that's about the superwash versus the merino, the way they take up the dye. So, um, random number generated, number 9, Heather219, you won this one, so shoot me a PM and I'll drop this in the mail to you. So. Thank you all so much for knitting along. Let me know if you would like to do them again or if you're interested in doing a swap. I've kind of got that percolating around in my head. I know the Knit Girls used to do the Afghan Square swap, and I think they stopped that. It might be fun if we did that or some other type of swap. So let me know if you're interested and I could organize it and we could do it. So um, until I see you in about 10 days or so, have a great time. Enjoy your knitting. Come on, get energized. Talk to you soon. Take care.